On September 24th, Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou returned to China after nearly three years of house arrest in Canada. Meng averted extradition to the United States through a deal with the Department of Justice to avoid criminal prosecution. She admitted misleading global banking giant HSBC about Huawei moves to evade U.S. anti-nuclear sanctions against Iran. Meng received a hero's welcome at home. The Chinese Foreign Ministry framed her detention as, quote, political persecution against the Chinese citizen. The so-called fraud charges against Ms. Meng Wanzhou are purely fabricated. That is false. While Meng did not plead guilty, she admitted to playing a principal role in a scheme to defraud HSBC. The U.S. alleges Meng misled HSBC into approving millions of dollars in transactions with a Huawei shell company, Skycom. Reuters revealed Skycom's attempts to do business with Iran and its close ties with Huawei. In response, Meng told HSBC that Skycom was merely a business partner and third party that Huawei works with in Iran. That misrepresentation of Huawei's true business kept HSBC funds flowing, the U.S. maintains. Meng's lawyers contest this, despite evidence that includes Meng's PowerPoint presentation minimizing Huawei's links to Skycom.